I have been gone for so long. I'm sorry. But bitch, we were changing cable companies, bitch. And have you ever tried to upload videos without Wi-Fi? That shit is hard as hell. It's like negative progress. It's like 5%, 0%, bitch, 10%, bitch, negative 1%. A bitch was tired, okay? So when bitches are tired, bitches don't upload, okay? But boom, we changed cable companies. We got Wi-Fi, 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 bitch. And today, I'm going to give y'all a little black history. Ooh, but not just black history, y'all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This LGBT history, bitch. Black LGBT history, okay? Because LGBT history is what? History. What? History is what? Black is what? I'm saying a lot of shit that don't make sense, but it makes sense. LGBT history is black history. Marsha P. Johnson. Uh, what did I just, what was I about to say? I was about to say Jensen. Marsha P. Johnson, girl. Martha P. Johnson. If you don't know who Marsha P. Johnson is, I guess I got to do a video on her too. But this video is going to be about somebody from way, way, way back before Marsha P, y'all. Like before Marsha P. G. G. Is deep. It go back, like back, back, like after slavery, back, like literally after slavery. Like this girl was born a slave, G. But anyway, huh, I guess we gonna get this video started. Without further ado, let's keep it now open. Hashtag Black History Edition. So boom, I have wrote it down. I have wrote it down. I guess I gotta put the link to the article in the description which would make sense so I'm gonna I'm go and do that after I guess I film it boom so boom the first document the first documented drag queen was a slave named William Dorsey Swan yes yes born a slave G a slave and his friends call him the queen period that was her name. Her name was the Queen. Period. Like the Queen. Born in Maryland around 1858, having to endure slavery, the Civil War, racism, police surveillance, and other injustices. In the beginning of the 1880s, he was not only the first to lead a queer resistance group, it was the person to dub themselves a drag queen. So not only did they fight against against injustices against the, the, the queer peoples, the queer communities. He was the first person to call himself a drag queen, period. And then after that, again, they 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 called they called them the queen. Like they called Swan the Queen. Like, gee. Gee, this is this in 1880. 1880 is deep. It go back. Like how I said, period. Like, oh my gosh. Who? So after being falsely accused with running a brothel. In 1896, gee, that brothel was actually <laughs> was actually just them having a drag ball, G. A drag ball. So somebody saw them, somebody saw them in the house having a little drag ball, getting cunty, 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 says, saw them getting cunty and was like, let's call the police. Let's call them. Yes, we're calling the police. And then boom, they pulled up with like, you having a brothel. You got all these women. Wait, these ain't women. They sitting there like, you right, bitch. You right. <laughs> Crazy. 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 So after that, or whatever, Swan had went to court and tried to like, what's the word? Tried to, I guess you would say fight, fight, fight the accusation. Because he had went to court and it's like the first legal, like actual like legal action where people have stood up for LGBT rights in court. Like it was, this, this was political bitch, political. Like this is history, this is history. Like boop 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 boop, sha boop boop boop. An article in the Washington Post from April 13th, 1888 had, um, what this say? Girl, I can't read my old hair right now sometimes. Cut that. Edit that. <laughs> Washington Post from April 13th, 1888 had the headline as Negro Dive Rated. Called it a Negro Dive. I am dead. That part was like, I'm like uh, it killed me. 13 black men dressed as women, surprised at supper and arrested. 
G. At supper, wow. Y'all can get them while they was eating. Like, they off guard. Like, you, they eating. Period. <laughs> anyway. More than a dozen queens escaped while Swan was holding back was holding back the police lieutenant in charge telling him you is no gentleman period we gonna get that on a shirt you is no gentleman although more than a dozen queens escaped those who were who who, who were who were caught those who were abstained is that the right word to you those who were snatched g they would face public public scorn social scorn why because they had pictures in their actual names like in the paper so anybody who saw it like oh they got them drag queens they got them drag queens like <laughs> them the, the drag queens and the drag queens they was probably most definitely fired from their job at the time because it's 1980 well not 1980 1880 like come on now people can do anything to anybody and it was black too they most definitely lost all their jobs all their privileges bitch like period so don't get called in 1880 period so swan's party had folk songs dancing and something called the cakewalk which the winner would be would be like the best dancer right and they would get like cakes and little confections they called it a whole cake in an article but i've never seen a whole cake in my life so i guess i gotta google a whole cake to pop the image up somewhere because Whole cake sound a little good. Um, whole cake. I'm a little whole. I got a little cake. Hey, but you know, in the 1900s, Williams retired. So Swan retired. The queen sat down, bitch. She was all like, "Go on, go on without me." So the queen sat down, and her younger brother stepped up. Period. His name was Daniel J. Swan. And he took over and provided costumes for the drag community for five decades until he died. That's 50 years. It's 50 years you're making clothes for the girl. Like, living, living, period. By the early 20th century, newspapers in Baltimore and Washington had res <laughs> By the early 20th century, newspapers in Baltimore and in Washington had documented the use of family terms to den um, denote ranks within the the ball scene, period. With mother being reserved, of course it's the mother, for the oldest person serving as a leader and a mentor to the little baby queens, period. Sometimes I see myself as a mother, but only sometimes. Like, I like I do have all like like, like like little gabies. I got these little gabies that I call them gabies. They small. They younger than me. They gay gabies. They little, little, little gay babies. And so they they be coming to me and asking me questions like, what happened? What do I do? And I, and I always try to give them something you know encouraging, something you know, a, a, a some advice. Anytime I can help them, I I do and I can. And I mean it's pretty nice. I I, I like it. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. So and, and I'm like I'm like a st stepmother. That's what I am. I'm a stepmother or a godmother, something of that sort. Anyway, queen, a term used loosely today because we call everybody queen. But yeah, it's queen. Word, bitch. Like we just say that shit now. But that only happened after the 1960s. That term was reserved for someone in position of honor and leadership in the community. So you had to be, you had to be in, you had to be in the community, making things happen. Period. To be called a queen, you can't. You, you, nowadays, we call everybody a queen, bitch. But back then, it meant something. Ooh, ooh. I mean, it means something now too. But like, it depends. It depends. Like, are you actually a queen, or bitch? Are we just saying this shit just because? Like, if we gonna call you a queen, bitch, you gotta act accordingly. Anyway, although the structure of the balls have not changed since then, it's still a major gathering of mothers and groups organizing an event to come together. Just, you know, to dance, ooh, to have fun, ooh, to sing songs. Ooh, it's still the same thing, to be honest. Like, 
if like e even like the the terms and the words that they use like the strike a pose boom that was in there they were saying that shit long ago long ago they were saying strike a pose bitch they were saying sachet across the floor that's too many damn words bitch but sachet across the floor was said <laughs> like too many words and even vogue y'all like they were talking about vogue long ago like long ago bitch like the house down like forever ago <sighs> ridiculous like oh my gosh like a history like ah, ah, ah. you just you just gotta you just gotta like love it like what else can you do like ah so i have wanted to make this video because i haven't one i haven't made a black history video and this has been literally damn near the whole damn month two this is lgbt related and then it's black at the same time that's like a double whammy that's like wham wham you just got two punches in the face so that's why i most definitely wanted to cover this because when i first read it i was like i can tell people about this oh and then boom bam, bam here i am doing this today i guess the next person i should tell you about is marsha p johnson but they got documentaries about her, G. Like, I don't have to. I don't have to say it. If you want to know about her, you can go watch a documentary. However, if you want to give me the views, I'll make the video, bitch. I'll make the video, bitch. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't just keep on now. Close. Okay, bye. Kisses. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.